darling, I bought you some dinner. I made you your favorite meal. Um, darling, did you lock the door to the basement? Hello? I can hear you moving around down there. I know you're there, so just please answer me. Listen, we both know that if I really wanted to, I could just break this door down right now. But I want to give you a chance to behave. If you don't open the door, there will be punishments. I know you remember what happened the last time you misbehaved. Does your knee still hurt from where I hit it? <laughs> Come on now, darling. Just open the door. Make it easy for yourself. Oh, I'm gonna count from three, okay? And if the door isn't open, when I get in there, I will punish you. One, two, three. Okay, you've had your chance. Where are you? Oh, playing hide and seek, are we? Oh, you know how much I love that game. Hmm, let's see where you could be hiding. Are you under the bed? No? Okay then. How about behind the cage? Hmm, not there either. <laughs> I wonder, are you hiding in the closet? <laughs> I found you. Hey, stop struggling. Oh, got you, okay. Now that I've got you pinned underneath me, I wonder if this is humiliating for you. <laughs> okay, stop struggling now. It's becoming pathetic. Why do you keep trying to get away from me? All I do is care for you and try to make you feel at home. And all you do is struggle and try to fight and get away. Why? What was that? You miss your family? You know what? You deserve to know. I knew that eventually someone would come looking for you. I knew your family would look for you, so I went to their house and... Hey, stop screaming. I swear to God if you don't shut up. Okay, good. Now stay quiet. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, about your family, right? Well, I began stalking them after I saved you. I thought they would start looking for you. Or even call the police when you didn't come home. But they never did. They never called the police or went out looking for you. They almost seemed like a huge weight was lifted off their backs. That's why I had to save you. Because no one treasures you like I do. You are the most perfect person ever. They don't deserve you anyways. Oh, you stopped? Have you finally realized that all I've ever wanted to do was help and love you? Huh? Yes, I'm not lying. Your family doesn't care you're gone. So I'm not sure why you're in such a hurry to head back. It's been over a month now and they've done nothing. They're probably glad you're gone. What? You're crying? You should save those tears for later, darling. Don't think I won't forget about your punishment. 
I'm going to make sure you can never try something like this ever again. Um, you are crying a lot, actually. And you're barely struggling. Hey, don't say that. That's not true. So many people love you. I mean, no one loves you as much as I do, but still. Stop, you're not worthless. You're beautiful and precious and adorable. But that's not all. I fell for you because of your personality. You're funny and cute and kind of sad. And all of that makes you so wonderful. And you and I are so alike. We both don't have anyone but each other. We're all we have. Don't be sad because your parents don't care about you. It's their loss. They had a perfect child. And they threw it all away. Yes, I really mean it. I love you, darling. With all my soul. Hey, let's forget about that punishment for now. Do you want to go upstairs and watch a movie? Yes, you can go upstairs. Here, I'll get off of you. You can get up. Let me help you. There we go. Now let's go watch something nice, okay? Don't worry, there's no need to apologize. I forgive you. Hey, don't say silly things like that. Of course I won't abandon you. Come here, sweetie. Let's go.